the intersection of sets simply means those elements you find in A and B, that is, elements that are common to both sets. So, if you are asked to find the intersection of two sets, intersection in sets can be denoted using this symbol. So, whenever you see this symbol, it means the intersection of two sets. For example, A intersection B. It therefore means that you should select all the elements you can find in A and B without repetition. So, solution, we are given two sets, A and B, that let A be equal to a set of elements A, B, C, D, E, and F, and B is said to be a set of elements A, E, I, O, U, and we are asked to find the intersection of these two sets. So A intersection B means you have to select all the elements you find in A and B without repetition. Those that are common in A and cannot be found in B are not in their intersections. So take that. So in A, we have to compare the element one at a time. Do we have A in set A and B? Yes. So that is one of the elements in the intersection. B, we have B in set A, but not in set B, so it is not. We have C, it's not. D, no. E, yes, we have E in both sets. F, no. I, no. O, U, no. So this is said to be the intersection of two sets, A and B. Example 2. That let R be a set of elements that are all positive, even integers less than or equal to 20. So, set R, if we are to list them, it says it is defined as all positive, even integers less than or equal to 20. Positive integers less than 20 are whole numbers, okay? And they are even numbers. So they said all positive even integers. So one, they are positive, two, they are even, and they are integers. So we are going to list out all the positive even integers that are less than or equal to 20. So we have them as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Remember, they said less than or equal to 20. That simply means that 20 is inclusive, while Q is defined as all factors of 20. Factors of 20, by factor of 20, we mean those numbers smaller numbers that can divide 20 without a remainder. So I have one, one can divide 20 without a remainder. Two is also a factor. Four is a factor. Five is a factor. 10 and 20 itself. So these are the factors of 20. Now we are asked to find R intersection Q. Now, whenever you have a question like this, always try to understand it by listing out all the elements as given by the definition of this set. Then you can easily find the intersection or the union of these two sets. So R intersection Q means all the elements you can find in set R and set Q. So we have two, we have four, Two is here, four is here, five is not here, six is not, so we have 10 and we have 20, okay? So the intersection of sets R and Q are said to be 2, 4, 10 and 20. That brings us to the end of today's class. In today's class, 
we have been able to look at the operations on sets which we said are the intersection and the union of two sets by intersection we mean those elements you can find in set a and in set b only while the union of two sets encompasses all the elements you find in a and in b without repetition irrespective of whether they are common to both or just in a particular set can you like my videos as you watch well i recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so and also follow me on facebook and on tiktok at my lesson teacher maths turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded you can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand well i recommend you share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes see you in our next class where we shall be looking at the Venn diagram. Have a nice day.